So, ladies and gentlemen, complementary angles, all right? Um, I'll just write out the formal definition. I'll show you what these are. Complementary are when the sum of two angles, when the sum of the, sorry, measure of two angles is 180 degrees. Now, oh, what am I doing? That's 90 degrees. Sorry. I don't know if I was thinking about the next one or what. But yeah, it's 90 degrees. Sorry, 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 sorry. 90 degrees, all right? So when do we know, um, what do we know uh, creates a 90 degree angle? Yes? 245s, yes. But what we've talked about in SARS angles, what if we, there's something on a picture that we used, yes? A right angle, and how do we know it's a right angle? Box. That box, right? So what I just want to show you is that is a box, right? That means it's a right angle. That means the degree measure of this angle is what? 90 degrees. Yes? So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, don't sneeze. If I cut this angle at all into two angles, then we know that those two angles are going to be complementary, right? So if I say, let's say I draw a line like this, right? Now I just broke this down into two angles, one and two. Well, guess what? Angle one and angle two are complementary, right? Because the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 90 degrees. Does that make sense? All right, let's look at another example. Ooh, that's a good one, Mr. McLogan. Are angles three and four complementary angles? Yeah. I want to go to you, but I want to try get some answers. No, 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 no. What do you? What is this angle? What is the measure of this angle? Ninety. Very good. What is the measure of this angle? How do you know that? It is the same, but how do you know they're the same? No. No, no, no. There's a definition that we talked about. What kind of angles are those? That is a right angle. You're right. But how is this angle compared to this angle? Not close. I'm hearing a couple. You have adjacent or vertical. Which one do you want to choose? Make the right decision. Adjacent. So adjacent, if we go back to our definition of adjacent, adjacent says they share the same vertex. Do those share the same vertex? Yes. Jason says they share the same vertex and they share the same side. Does this angle and that angle share the same side? No. No. So, they're, they're, so they can't be adjacent. Let's go back to the definition of vertical. Vertical angles. Vertical angles are one created by two intersecting lines. Do these, are these created by two ver intersecting lines? Yes. Do they share the same endpoint or vertex? Yes. Vertical angles also do not have any line, uh, sides in common. Do these have any sides in common? No. So guess what? They're not adjacent, but they are vertical angles. So therefore, if this is 90 degrees, how many degrees is this? 90. 90. So therefore, is angle, the, um, is angle 3 plus angle 4 equal to 90? Yes. Is angle 3 and angle 4 uh, vertical angle, or I'm sorry, complementary angles? Yes, they are. So you can also say that angle 1 and angle 3, uh, sorry, angle 4 and angle three are complementary. Okay. Here's an example of one that's not complementary. Does anybody know why that's not complementary? <coughs> yeah. How do you know it's 90 degrees, right? All I said is these two angles. Does it look like they add up to 90 degrees? Right. It looks like it, but there's no box or there's nothing telling you that it's add up to 90 degrees. So you cannot assume that they're going to add up to 90 degrees. All right? So you got through. 